Hey, I'm Jovi E here at RB Only Fest, and I'm here with the one, the only, Maida, who just finished killing her set, and yes, the mic was on. How you feeling? I feel good. I'm tired. I'm going to go take a little Hennessy shot and take a little nap, probably. Okay, yes <laughs> to the hen dog. Well, I got a couple questions for you, then you can go. There's been a lot of back and forth between new school RB versus old school RB. Which one you got? I mean, I feel like old school forever because all new school is inspired by that. So I think that that will always be the pick because it's, it's never going to leave, you know? And what's the biggest difference between those two for you personally? Maybe feeling. I think a lot of songs now lack a little bit of emotion. I mean, they all have emotion, but it's more cool now. Back then it was more vulnerable. It was a lot more vulnerable and like raw, I, I would say. I mean, there's a lot of new army artists that are like that, but I think that it was it's not as present in army music as it used to be. You have a lot of really dope features already under your belt. Who are some of your favorite artists that you've worked with thus far? One is Tone Stith. I don't know who he is. I just performed with him. Last night we were in the studio. I'm still learning how to write lyrics and he was like pushing me to write last night. So Tone, Ombre I would say. I worked with Party Next Door a few months ago. That was really good. And I love Beam too. If you could name any R&B artist that you'd love to work with in the future, who would that person be? SZA. I love SZA. She's so amazing and so cool and I would love to work with her, yeah. And I could yeah. see that. I feel like yeah. that would be a really dope vibe. I don't know what your relationship status is, but in a world where, ooh, you want to talk about? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> in a world where tomorrow is your wedding. What R&B artist, dead or alive, do you have singing at your wedding? Oh. Okay, a song that me and this person both like is Mini Ripper Team. A oh, Mini Ripper Team, yeah. It'd be some pretty, like... That's one that we haven't gotten yet that I actually really, really like. We also have a segment here at R&B Only called Sex Plays where we have talent such as yourself. Tell us what three songs definitely have to be on that sex okay. playlist. One is Yeah, I Said It by Rihanna. It's just a song about sex, and it's just good. <laughs> <laughs> Something by Sir. I don't know what song by Sir, but some Sir song. This one might be a little dramatic. I love Dance For You by Beyonce. I don't know if that'd be too dramatic to play during sex, but that's a song that gets me like in the mood or whatever. <laughs> no such thing as yeah. too dramatic, especially yeah. when we're talking about Queen V. What are some lyrics from those songs that like immediately like, yup, that's why? Because yeah, I said I love because she's so like raw and like tough in it. She says something about like, put me up against the wall. Right. Like, I don't care, put me up against the wall. That's my favorite line from that song. I love it. I love it. I know exactly where you're going with that. Yeah. Well, thank you and congratulations again. You did an amazing job and she looks awesome. I mean, come on, take it in. Enjoy the rest of your day, Henny all the way. <laughs> Thanks guys.